Buffalo, New York. It's Friday night food fights at Rust Belt Raceway Park. And we're back at it again. Congratulations to Melvin Chubby Bottom and Bruce the Shark for winning the 2020 election here at Rust Belt. We're going to kick off the party with the mini stocks as always. So let's meet our drivers. In the number one Sharp Records vehicle, it's Frankie Sharp. In the number four Juicy Burger Bar car, it's Reese Bird. Number six, sponsored by Noah's Arcade, it's Ross Finley. And in the Castro car, number eight, it's Jet Stag. Number nine, Jay, sponsored by Nintendo, it's Turtle. And in the 57 Nabisco vehicle, it's Rusty Martin. And here's how the points work for the mini street stocks. One race, three points for the winner. One point is awarded to second and third place. Points accumulate and we crown a champion in December. So we have much different positioning, a little bit of shake up here at the top of the line. You got last week's winner, Reese Berg, in the back left corner. Rusty Martin looking awesome coming out, but oh, here comes Reese Berg around him. Are you kidding me? Reese Berg looked like he crossed the finish line first, but we're going to have to go to the replay, folks. As the gate drops, you're going to see Rusty Martin come out strong, and he looks like he's just going to go straight, but Reese Berg gives him a little tap to put him in the wall. He just barely misses Chet Stagg, and then Berg comes along, slides sideways, and look at that photo finish, folks. Reese Berg gets back-to-back -back wins here in the mini street stocks. Unbelievable, we have not seen that yet. So Reese Berg is making his way up the ladder here. Of course, Rusty Martin's still in the lead, but you got Reese Berg and Frankie Sharp nipping at his heels. And now it's time for the big boys. This is the Big C's Chop Shop Mini NASCAR Series. We'll be running three heats, one feature, one point for each heat winner, and three points for the feature winner every week. Again, points will accumulate. Winner is determined in December. Let's meet our drivers. In the number four Kodak car, that's Ernie Irvin. In the number seven XI car is Jeff Bodine. Ricky Rudd driving in the number 10 tie vehicle. In the number 12 main and tail, it's Clayton Carter. Ted Musgrave in the 16 family channel car. Daryl Waltrip driving the 17 for Western Auto. Dale Jarrett in the 18 Interstate Batteries car. Michael Waltrip driving for Sitco in the number 21. In the number 90, Helig Myers, Paul Blumel. So let's get it going here, folks, with heat number one. And that will feature Dale Jarrett there on the right. In the middle is our contest winner, Paul Gruel. And on the left is Michael Waltrip, and he's been having a great season so far. Gruel looking good coming out, but Waltrip just slides right by him. That's it, folks. Michael Waltrip is back in the feature again. What is this, the third straight week? Look at Gruel. Looked good there, but then he started pulling off, got into Jarrett, and Waltrip just took the opportunity, as he often does, to slide around and take the win. And so Heat 2 will feature one of our other contest winners. That's Clayton Carter in the middle. The points leader there on the left is Ernie Irvin, and on the right is Ted Musgrave. Irvin is gone like a bolt shot out of a cannon. Look at him go. Ernie Irvin is just dominating this series. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look at him come right out. Nice smooth transition into the turn portion of the track. Takes out Carter, takes out Musgrave. 360 for the win. Can't get any better than that. And our third and final heat of the evening will feature last week's champion, Jeff Bodine, there in the middle. Got his first win last week. Ricky Rudd on the right is still looking to get anything going. And Daryl Waltrip on the left looking to get into yet another feature. Here we go. Rudd flips over and Waltrip with an easy, breezy ride to the finish. Jeff Bodine looked like he was going to come up and make the pass, but Ricky Rudd actually blocked him. And Bodine could not get by as Waltrip just scoots in for an easy win. 
And now it's time for a feature. And ladies and gentlemen, I promise this is not footage from earlier in the season. We've seen this matchup so many times. Ernie Irvin in the middle, flanked by the Waltrip brothers. Michael on the right, Daryl on the left. This has happened so many times in this series. Here we go. Daryl and Michael get teamed up in the back. And there is Ernie Irvin taking the win. It's like it's deja vu all over again. Every time Irvin and the Waltrip boys are in a race together, they get tangled up and Irvin gets through scot-free. I don't know how he does it, but Ernie Irvin pulls out the win there in the feature for the Big C's Chop Shop Mini NASCAR Series tonight. So let's go to the leaderboard, folks. You're going to see a big jump here for Ernie Irvin. Look at that, 16 points on top of the leaderboard. The closest is the Waltrip boys, and they're only at five. Somebody else needs to get wins here. Paul Gruel did not win, so next week we'll see a new driver in the number 90. Aw, the baby car! There's last week's Shorty Showdown champion, it's Rusty McQuay driving in baby toe! And the Montreal Canadiens Rookie of the Year, Jean LaRose in the 58 Gram Rosie! Race 1! It's not stolen. Be here next week, right here at Rust Belt Diecast Racing. <laughs>